Okay, hello YouTube, this is Triple Valve Metro Camel. Welcome to the video today and thank you for joining me. Much appreciated. Um, I'm choosing to do a little video today about the loco you're seeing in front of you. This is a Hornby Railroad Range uh, Gintic class locomotive. <coughs> and it's a Somerset and Dorset Joint Railway liveried um, tank engine. And this is how it was originally produced in the factories, number 24. But more recently, um, I really wanted a Great Eastern themed um, tank engine for the layout and seeing as at the moment there isn't a ready to run available model of any Great Eastern tank engines um, I really desired something with character for the layout and even though I've got my um, Hornby L1 which Stratford 30A shed did have quite a, a couple of those about but mainly Stratford 30A shed was all about the N7s. Now, I haven't got an N7, unfortunately, or an N2. But, however, Stratford did have one or two Gintis. So I thought, what about combining the colour of this model as it was produced in the factory and adding a few additions to it to give it a little bit of Great Eastern character, which is exactly what I did. And that's the reason behind it, because I wanted a Great Eastern themed little tank engine to bring a bit of character to the layout. So I've simply transformed this Hornby Railroad range model in its Somerset and Dor Dorset joint uh, liveried colour and I've simply added a few additions to it to give it a bit of Great Eastern character. So we start on the side here and I'll bring it in a little bit. I'll just tilt on the side there. As you can see what I've done is the the wheels I've given a little bit of a lick of paint, some black paint on the spokes there to highlight those a little bit better and obviously the main thing you can see there is the, the, the side crank rods painted red which really brings out a nice crispness and contrast between the blue bodywork and obviously the crank rods together I think look pretty good and the steps um, here I've painted a little bit of silver coloured paint just on the edge of the steps, not the steps completely but there and obviously there and I've painted the rear buffer beam with some uh, humbral red enamel paint which is obviously making it a lot better than the factory produced uh, red colour paint that they've put on there by Hornby. I've added a vacuum pipe also as you can see in this area I've stuck a vacuum pipe on there, I've sourced that from a bits and uh, pieces box and these lamp brackets on the on the back there I've just had a little bit of silver paint just very lightly to these areas to highlight those. I'll just bring in the camera doesn't blur out. Blech. As you can see, just a little bit of detail on the back there. Not too much, but just a little bit to give it a bit of character. And also um, these bits underneath here um, I've painted these to match these side crank rods. What I've also done is I've painted the handrails on the front there, silver. And moving on to the front, give it a bit of Great Eastern character, I've painted the seal around the smoke box door. This buffed um, finish here, which if you look at online at some of the early Great Eastern tank engines, like the N7s, um, they had this seal, this this polished seal around the smoke box door which I think looks really good. On the other side of the loco, uh, this pump and valve apparatus here I've picked out in silver as well and also as a little compliment to the rest of that I've painted the chimney cap the same colour and just gave the chimney funnel a little bit of liquor paint as well to highlight that. So there she is, um, basically that is my now Great Eastern tank engine and you can imagine something like this sitting at Liverpool Street Station during sort of the late 40s early 50s as a station pilot um, there was a station pilot kept at Liverpool Street um, that apparently was in immaculate condition and was kept in that condition by the local cleaners and also Stratford 30A shed so anyway that's the, the story behind why I wanted to do this with this tank engine I know it isn't 100% perfect, but I think it looks good, and it gives it a little bit of character. And there she is. So there we are. 
Hope you enjoy that. Just a little bit of an idea. Maybe you can do something similar on home at home on your uh, locos, whatever you want to do with them. But just a little bit of inspiration, maybe to do a, a little bit of a paint job and to enhance and brighten up something that's a bit dull otherwise. Anyways, have a great day wherever you are. Take care. God bless. Happy modelling, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye bye.